Welcome to a short introduction to Meshroom Server. What is Meshroom Server? Meshroom can deliver applications that consist of multiple small standalone apps developed by different teams. It provides a platform where those small apps can nicely play together and appear as one big application to the user. We call those small apps micro frontends and Meshroom a micro frontend integration platform. Meshroom Server allows you to register your apps and place it on portal pages via drag and drop. You can write your apps with any single page application framework such as React, Vue or Angular. And you could even use WebAssembly. You can apply different themes to your pages and apps to serve multiple channels and brands. You can launch the same app with different configurations, even on the same page. Apps on a page can interact with each other by sending small messages. You can load and unload any registered app dynamically via JavaScript API. You can use this to build awesome dynamic cockpits. You can also use registered apps as building blocks for new apps. We call them composite apps. They again can be building blocks for other composite apps. Not only can you use single page applications as micro frontends, but also traditional web apps. Express.js web apps can be loaded and mapped to any path. Meshroom automatically provides a proxy for all API calls to avoid course problems. The proxy supports HTTPS and WebSockets. Meshroom server supports hybrid rendering for better UX and search engine optimization. The first page will be rendered on the server and then be hydrated. Subsequent pages are completely rendered on the client side with smooth transitions. Apps can not only communicate with each other, but also with an external message broker if configured. This allows it to communicate with third party systems and apps running in the context of a different user. Apps can be deployed locally but also on remote servers, which leads to independent life cycles and natural scaling of the development. Meshroom Server comes with a bunch of ready-to-use services like different security and storage providers, support for several message brokers and monitoring systems. It includes everything to build a whole micro frontend platform with automatic registration of newly deployed apps. A platform not only very flexible and scalable, but also highly performant due to smart caching and CDN support. A platform where an ever-growing number of teams can collaboratively build frontends for different audiences. So how does it work? Meshroom is basically just a plugin loader based on Node.js. It comes with a few built-in plugin types and the possibility to define new ones. On top of that, we have created a ton of plugins and new plugin types. The most prominent one is the Meshroom portal, which is responsible for the integration of single page applications. The core supports hot reloading of every plugin at runtime. In development mode, it additionally watches for changes of plugin sources and automatically triggers a rebuild. Since everything is just a plugin, the system is very easy to customize and to extend. A plugin must be written in JavaScript and consists of a bootstrap method and some metadata that describes the plugin type and the default configuration, which can be changed in the server configuration later on. Let's have a look. The simplest way to start is to clone and run the Meshroom Portal Quick Start template. Then open localhost 5050 and after signing in as administrator, you can add, move or remove apps and change the configuration. You can also create new pages. change permissions and apply a different theme. The default setup saves the whole configuration in a file database. 
The demo REST proxy app shows that third-party APIs can be proxied through the portal. The demo composite app uses existing apps as building blocks, all of them written with different UI frameworks. And here an app that lives on a remote server. It can seamlessly be integrated and all the resource and API requests are proxied through the portal. The Sandbox app can be used to test different app configurations and interactions via message bus. It can also be used to create automated end-to-end -end tests for single apps. All locally deployed apps are automatically hot reloaded on changes in development mode. The initial page will completely be rendered on the server side if all apps support it. Here you can see one app didn't support SSR, so it was rendered on the client side. If you navigate to another page, the content will be fetched dynamically without the full page reload. There's an admin UI available under slash meshroom, which shows the status of all loaded plugins and some details for specific plugin types. Let's also have a quick look at the dynamic cockpit demo, which is available in one of our public GitHub repositories. After launching it, sign in and switch to the cockpit demo page. You can search for fake customers and products, and if you click on a button, the corresponding app opens. Within an app, you can navigate to other items, which will also be shown in dynamically loaded apps. You can also move around apps, and close them. And why would you use it? To get the reusable UI building blocks for different user groups and across multiple channels and brands. To split your frontend into pieces that can fit in your head, which reduces the cognitive load and typically also maintenance costs. To be able to add new development teams without slowing down the existing ones. To be able to change all framework decisions later. If the current UI framework doesn't fit your needs, just use another one for the next micro frontend. As a platform for your SPA that handles security, locking, and monitoring. You could also call it an application server. Or to build any kind of plugin-based system. For example, an extendable microservice. For more information, check out our website, our blog, or the sources on GitHub.